Okay, we're going to test this one for symmetry, y equal x squared minus 5x. Here's the three different rules, x-axis, y-axis, and origin, the test that you have to do. So for x-axis symmetry, if you want to test if it has that, we want to replace the y with negative y. Okay, so we're going to do that right here, negative y equals x squared minus 5x. Now this is not equal to the original one, and even if you were to take this and multiply both sides by negative 1, you would get y equals negative x squared plus 5x. And so this is not equal to the original one either because both these signs are different. So therefore, I'm going to go ahead and put a no next to this one. It does not have x-axis symmetry. Next, we want to test for y-axis symmetry. Replace the x with negative x. Okay, so we put that in here. Negative x in for both the x's. We're going to simplify it. We get positive x squared plus 5x. That's not equal to the original one either. So because it doesn't simplify to the original one, that means it does not have y-axis symmetry either. So this one's also going to be a no. The last one, we need to do two things. Replace the x with negative x. Replace the y with negative y. So we do that here. Negative y equals negative x squared minus 5 times negative x. And if we simplify that, we get positive y, negative y equals x squared plus 5x. Now, if I take this one, multiply both sides by a negative, then what's going to happen there is I get y equals negative x squared minus 5x. That's not the same as the original one either, and so this is going to be a no. Therefore, it doesn't have any of these three symmetries. There's no x-axis, no y-axis, and no origin symmetry. So now it's time to find the intercepts. So to find the intercepts, we're going to do the same process every single time. To find the x-intercept, you want to put in a 0 for y. So we have 0 equals x squared minus 5x. And for this one, I need to do some factoring in order to solve that. There's a common factor of x, so I'm going to pull out the x from both of these. I have two x's, I'm taking one of them out, that'll leave me with one x left over. If I take an x out of this one, I get minus 5. And then now, both of these individually, I'm going to set equal to 0. I get x is equal to 0, and I get x minus 5 equals 0, and so I get 0 and I get 5. Those are my two x-intercepts. Now I want to find the y-intercept. To do this one, you want to put in a 0 for x. So if you put in a 0 for x, you get y equals 0 squared minus 5 times 0. Now that's going to give you a 0 also. Now that makes sense because if the x-intercept is 0, the y-intercept is going to be 0 as well because it goes through 0, 0, and that's going to be both an x and a y-intercept. So therefore, x-intercepts are going to be 0 and 5. The y-intercept is going to be 0.